I'm at the Graham and Green store in Notting Hill, London, and with me on their sofa is Judy Smith, Crown Paints colour consultant. And um, I'm going to talk to her about Crown's collaboration with the Royal College of Art and their Brantiques competition. Hi Judy. Hi there. Hi. Um, could you tell me a little bit about the competition? Yeah, it's really exciting actually. We work with students from the Royal College of Art and have done for three years. And uh, this year Crown wanted to find out what they could do with uh, paint on furniture to sort of upcycle, reuse uh, pieces. Yeah. They could either use um, sort of junk shop finds, if you like, yeah. or even sort of cheap newer pieces, and then do something with paint to the furniture to make it really exciting, interesting, fun, yeah. unusual. Uh, and for us at Crown Paints, it's just wonderful to see what they come up with. Yeah, well, I've seen that the, the winning designs in Graham and Green's um, shop window, yeah. are, are, they're so colourful and vibrant, and they've definitely used um, the paint and the furniture working together, yeah. haven't they? Uh, yeah, the three uh, winning designs are all quite different. Yeah. Um, the actual winning one is quite exciting because it's a new way of taking a piece of furniture, a chair, and making it into a hallway storage, if you like, or wardrobe storage, which has just got that real fun element into it. And that's actually using sort of navies and creams and whites and blacks, which uh, look terrific on it. Uh, the second one is uh, recycling an old wardrobe, and that's got fabulous this bright, bright, bright marbling on yeah. it. And the third one is taking some quite basic chairs and adding uh, sort of, I suppose, trompe l'oeil quilting. So you said about the winning design, Sarah's yep. design, yep. Um, that's using whites and dark blues and lighter blues. Yeah. Are they, are they key colours for 2011? Well, I think they're there. I mean, other colours for 2011 are definitely really, really bright. Yeah. But within um, that bright palette, there's always going to be sort of blacks and whites that can sort of um, be used with yeah. the brights. I think for the spring, definitely, there's so much turquoise around yeah. um, but I think it's such a great colour if you put it with um, sort of pale soft chalky pinks and lilacs uh, okay. but then even a real sharp bright dirty lime so it's kind of taking these um, bright colours and then doing something a bit more different a bit yeah. more interesting with them and not being scared to experiment I no. guess no yeah. go for it I think everyone's sort of much happier about using colour at the moment so yeah. um, I think just go for it. With, with the colours being so bright this year people should really no, brighten up get, their gardens. Get them out outside as well. I mean um, definitely there are so many in Santex and Sadlin really bright feature colours that you can put on um, fences, you can put on walls um, on the outside for your house and they just you know they take that element of fun that's inside outside now. Yeah. I'm with Sarah Seaton Burridge, a student from the Royal College of Art, who actually won the Crown Brantiques competition. Sarah, could you tell me a bit about your winning design, please? Um, yeah, it was based on how I use chairs in my house, because a lot of them are broken and falling apart, and they're not safe to sit on anymore. So we hang them on the walls, and we use them to hang stuff off the bottom or to put things on the top. And your chairs hang? Are they meant to hang from the ceiling? Uh, not from the ceiling, normally. Mine go from the wall. Okay. But I mean, if you want to hang it from the ceiling, hang it from the ceiling. Well, they, they're attached to the wall? Yeah, rather. generally. I've got some, either some are outside and they're attached on the wall and we use, so between the spokes and the bottom of the chair, we hang brooms so the seat of the chair protects them. So oh. when they're outside and we have plants and stuff on the top of them, the ones inside, I think, have got a fancy dress and bits of artwork from people that have lived with me. And then the bottoms we hang hangers on and have bits on. So very creative, yeah, eclectic. <laughs>